Breakfast time, everybody. Breakfast time. <laughs> it's funny how flocks of sheep just charge through stuff and over stuff, paying no attention to it. there. You're being very silly, Lilac. There's loads of food. I'm going to go feed the chickens now. It's still dark and there are winds, but we've not received the worst of the storm yet, supposedly. So, time to feed the chickens. I'll come back and do these guys. Put them back inside when I've fed the chickens. They'll have finished their food by then. Chickens fed. You can see some of the lambs are loving the hay. Having a lovely time with the hay. Come on, ladies. Come on. How are you guys? Did you have a lovely night? All cozy and dry? Come on. Come on. Okay, Brindle. Come on. Leave some for the wildlife. Some for the birds. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. At a girl, Inca. Good girl. Don't come out. No, no, no. Stay in. Good sheep. Look at that, digging into the hay. Lovely to see. Okay, I'm going in to feed the dogs and get my own breakfast now. See you guys later after the storm. After the storm, you're gonna go back outside. Whoops. Yes, how are you? <laughs> okay, see you later, guys. Come on, dogs. Look at them all eating. That's for the birds. We leave some, always leave some for the wildlife. Come on. Good dogs. Still very dark, though it is getting lighter. Come on. See you later, guys. I'm saying, please, please, good morning, hello, give me a bath now, now. Whoop, there we go.
Oh, poor Ovnit. You're going to be so overwhelmed. You're going to have to leave. He's just waiting for me to light the fire. Isn't that right? Oh, you protecting Ovnit from pesky puppy. <laughs> Good girl, <laughs> And I just have these two bouncing around. Oh, look, you're all there. Okay. I've got to light the fire. Ain't nothing in there. So we finally calmed down getting our oven mitt bath. You're all on your own there. But the fire is going. There we go. Fire's lit and going. Yay! While the fire's warming the place, let's go and do some feeding jobs. Come on, out you come. Good dogs. Oven mitt's gonna enjoy that. Nice and quiet. See you later. All looking good. And the trees are all still here. As is the great oak, thank goodness. We missed the worst of the storm, thank goodness. Okay, I'll open the gate in a sec. Got to put the food in. It did it again. I didn't quite put it in the right place. Never mind. <laughs> the phone's still alive. Isn't that right? Yeah, the excitement. The excitement. Dogs all know to stay away during the stampede. Leon is doing eating and assessing his ladies. Dual purpose jobbing is what Leon's doing. There he is. Just testing, testing, testing. There's still quite a bit of wind. We're lucky. 
There's huge swathes of Ireland that has no electricity, trees down everywhere, all kinds of uh, accidents have occurred. So we only have uh, a bit of, we have the side effects of the storm, the side shoot winds. So thankfully it missed us or the vast majority of it missed us. We had loads of rain though this morning. And the sun is, it's coming up and shining through the clouds that are shifting towards the UK. I think Northern England and Scotland are gonna get the rest of Storm Debbie. These stakes are temporarily here. I'm just assessing where I want to put all those oak trees I've been growing. And this seems like a good location. It's the willow tree is there, the feeding area is here. And it, I might bring it up a bit further, but the reason I kind of initially stopped there is the sun rises there, as you can see, it's there in the winter and it sets over there. So these trees will have a really good uh, amount of sun. But this beech tree is here. So I don't think it will impact this plantation. So I'm actually thinking of bringing the plantation in a little bit and then up to here rather than there. Uh, so it will be kind of a strip of oak trees and I'll plant it with oak and rowan and cherry and spindle uh, and gilder rose as well as the oak so it'll be a little plantation so in the summer months hey give this a few years and this will be shaded as when and if the sheep are feeding etc kind of like this little bit of woodland here whoop the dogs have gotten rid of all the sheep anyway always thinking of where to plant my homegrown trees. And that's one of the places. And the ladies have all gone off to drink water. It does look beautiful, the beech trees. The rams testing, testing, testing. One of the points, one of the reasons why I fence off um, the area is yes the sheep but also the horses and it gives the trees a really good chance and by the time these stakes are rotten in 10 years time the trees will be big enough that I can pull the fence out so the willows like that one there I could have pulled that fence down oh, five years ago I've just been lazy and as you know I pulled the fence from that tree there uh, only a few days ago. So these trees, I want to give them a fighting chance. And once they're established, they are, see these are, these stakes will last a lot longer than those stakes. Those are the cheap stakes. But this is, they're not even put down fully at all, those, these stakes here. They're literally, the ground is that soft that we thump them in just barely so that I get an idea of the space. But I definitely think I'm gonna bring it in to about there and across. And then I can fill this with young oak trees. And I always plant more trees of my homegrown than necessary because they are gonna be thinned out at one stage. In about 15, 20 years, they'll get to a certain height and then you thin out the weaker ones and keep the stronger ones. So that'll be a potential plantation right here. <laughs> You're looking for your treat. There we go. This is a new gate here. Uh, these are all the timber is recycled from the local co-op. These were used to hold in fencing pallets, fence stake pallets. So the only things bought were this and the black paint 
and the screws. So this is a little gate. See, there was a bigger gate that she's standing up on behind, and that will go, and I'll be able to use that for temporary fencing in places. But I need to get a hook for this gate. So this gate is actually jammed shut by a stick. So I need to get a hook. I think this is so beautiful. Look, that leaf fell right there. Looks gorgeous next to the black fence. Isn't that right? How are you, Kestrel? You're so beautiful. You're such a beautiful girl. Yes. See you later. It's a beautiful sunny day after the storm. Beautiful sunny day. Okay. It's time to go out. The worst of the storm. Uh, I always have to do this. It takes two hands. Okay, the worst of the storm is over. Come on, girl. Come on, boys. Come on, lambs. Come on, babies. Yeah. Some of the alpaca don't want to come out. So I'm going to bring the magic bucket with me. They're all loving the apples. Oops, that closed shut with the wind. Come on, you two, come out, come on. There we go. I'm so glad we didn't get the worst of the storm. Areas of Ireland, it sounds really horrendous. She's now eating out of the magic bucket. Don't you want the apples? Combination of Oreo Bloom and Ebony. <laughs> okay. Let's see if they'll start to follow or not. I haven't called yet. Oh, they are. <laughs> Come on! Woo! I look forward to when all these other silver birches here and there mature. The sheep, the black sheep going through the silver birches is really beautiful. Come on, move it. Come on girls. Yep, come on. You guys will just have to stay there for the moment. This food is really for the hens. You had breakfast this morning. So you get to go out into the field again. Oh, Jesus. You nearly knocked me down. Go on. Go on. No, there's no more food for you guys. That's being greedy. I'm being knocked all over the place. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's knocking me over. You just want, you just are dying for a scratch. We well, can go out into the field and get a scratch. Come on. Whisht. Go on, out. Go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The alpaca are eating apples. One, two. Okay. Okay, Java, enough. Woo! It is so slippery. I'm slipping all in this mud. Okay, now I gotta feed those guys. But getting out of this gate is two handed.
So glad to be out. Still, there's quite a bit of wind. Okay, I left you guys to enjoy some apples. It's now time to go out in the field. Come on. Come on. Come on. At Java. Watch out. These guys are very good at doing dogs and foxes in. You. No, follow your mother and your grandmother. Go on. Come on. I turned the horses out. Oop, Java, careful. I turned the horses out, letting them eat more apples. Because I knew how much they liked them. Brindle, back here. Good girl, good girl. Java, leave it. Good boy. Java, Java, Java. Good boy, leave it. Good boy. Good boy. Java, Java, Java. Good boy. Wait, wait, wait. Java, wait. Java. Job. Good boy. Wait. Come here. Come here. You've got to just listen to the talk. It's not all about chasing animals and your fun. It's about a cooperative effort. Okay? Aunt Brindle, come back here. Come out. Java. Got to close this. Ugh. Java just wants to eat the food that's left over. They've finished their breakfast. Uh, now, God, it is so greasy underfoot. I should have ice skates on. Come on. Or snow skis. Cross country snow ski skis. Okay, Inga, leave it. Good girl. Come on. Oreo Bloom, out you go. There we go. Java, Java, Java. Come on. Come in. Good boy. She ain't him back. I really fell on my backside just then. Boy, it really is wet underfoot.